Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day. Using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, the U.S. equivalent of the Michelin Restaurant Guide, the Zagat Survey's Japanese edition, came out the other day. This motivated me to invite the Zagats to be judges themselves in my kitchen stadium. I think it's so exciting that we're going to be judging today. It's fun to be the ones to actually do the eating. Today we have the chance. Normally it's thousands of other people. The top restaurants chosen by Zagat Tokyo include the New York Grill. And of course, many famous French restaurants, among others. But to my surprise, there has been no mention of any Japanese restaurant. And I've heard many Japanese chefs disagree with the Zagat survey. And our Michiba is one of them. That is why Michiba is demanding a match to have his right-hand man challenge the taste buds of the Zagats. Michiba says this man now heads the kitchen of Poisson Rok Saburo, a restaurant Michiba opened to search for new grounds in Japanese cuisine. And Michiba also says he is sometimes amazed by this man's incredible imagination. Michiba will put his pride at stake, challenging the Zagats, representing the Japanese cooking circle. How could you take your eyes away from a match like this? Today's challenger, a man fully endorsed by Michiba, from Poison Rok Saburo in Akasaka, head chef Yuji Tateno. Tateno met Michiba when he was 19 years old. From then, he underwent intense training by Michiba himself. And at a mere age of 32, he was appointed head chef of Michiba's new restaurant. He is fully committed to carry on Michiba's philosophies and not to be mindset about ingredients and culinary boundaries. Tateno's dishes are solutions to Japanese cuisine for the next generation. Using all five senses, tasters will understand the core of his cuisine. So now, Tateno, not only for your mentor, but also for Japanese cuisine, show the Zagats what you've got. From the boss Michiba, and for myself, I'll do my best.
世界の料理界でアメリカ版ミシュランとも呼ばれ注目を集めているレストランガイドザガットその東京版がついに発売になりましたそこで今回はこの仕掛け人をこのキッチンスタジアムに呼んでみましたご紹介しましょうザガット夫妻ですえー、今日は試食にも参加をしていただきたいと思いますけど、よろしくどうぞお願いします。Yeah. えー、しかし、このザガットの批評を快く思っていない料理人もかなり多いようです。今日はそれを料理人を代表して、あの道場六三郎が立ち上がりました。自分の右腕を引き連れて。さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください赤坂ポアさん六三郎料理長立野裕二ホノラリーアイロンシェフ六三郎ミチーバ bringing in his protege their mission today give the Zagat something to chew on over the low marks for top Japanese restaurants in the Zagat's Tokyo survey Takino's been with Michiba since he was 19 we'll see how 15 years of high level training has paid off どうも皆さんあ、はい Nice to meet you sir あれですかやはりザガットのその批評にはちょっと疑問がある。Well, you know, you should look around and try the food to give accurate ratings. And that's how I feel. じゃあ今日はその味をも示したいということ。Yes. 師匠はこうおっしゃってます。Yes. I'm here to put my soul into my dishes. I'll do my best. どうぞ頑張って。さあ、それではあなたと戦う三人の鉄人を登場させましょう。Yes. 読みえるがいアイアンシェフ。Ascending into Kitchen Stadium, Japan's culinary leaders, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Masaharu Morimoto, rule breakers, culinary creators, they lead the way. So, Tateno san, can I have a shot? Dare to Tatakai Masa! Chen san, please! All right, it's Chen, a classic Japanese versus Chinese cuisine matchup. Chen Kenichi, the Sejuan sage, son of the god of Sejuan cooking, taking the lineage and cooking with it. The Iron Chef Chinese, with his originality and imagination, has conquered many a tough challenger. But today, the challenger is backed by Michiba, who knows all about how Chen operates. Could be he'll be at a slight disadvantage going in. ぐさっと刺さるといえばトゲがあってアメリカでは決して質のいいものは手に入らない特別のものを今日は三陸から用意しましたそれでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマは紫ウニ If memory serves me right, today Michiba's agenda is to defeat Iron Chef Chen and to have the Zagats understand the depth of Japanese cuisine. I want them to thoroughly enjoy wonderful Japanese cuisine, and through which I think they could correct their judgment about us. I think this is a great opportunity. Will Michiba's voice be heard by the Zagats? No doubt. It will be another interesting one today. All right, this is going to be an interesting affair. Roksaburo Michiba, honorary Iron Chef, with his right hand man, challenger Tateno, taking on Iron Chef Chen. Through the battle, Michiba hoping to correct his word, the Zagat's perception of Japanese cuisine, and give it its proper due in their survey of Tokyo restaurants. Uni's the theme. We are set to get it on! On a cadence! Bang a gong, we are on. Chen and Tateno with Uni, Seer Chen Ro, and both men with a chance today to shine before the Zagats. An opportunity not just for Michiba Tateno, but also for Iron Chef Chen and his Chinese cooking. 
And Doc, yeah. some top quality sea urchin up there at the stand. Oh yeah, they're top notch. So the ones that you see here are called uh, Murasaki uni, or purple sea urchin. And in the summer right now, these types are the absolute best to have. All right. And you see the shells there. Yeah. And you can see the items stacked up next to the baskets. Right. That means that they've been transported here in seawater the whole way. So these are in great, great condition. And check out the size. Yeah, usually at supermarkets they'd put a preservative on them, but uh, today this is all natural. Okay, and now Challenger Tateno, a little tapping and breaking through the shells. And how about this, Doc? Is this a common way of uh, getting the job done here? Well, some do it this way, yeah. And he obviously knows what he's doing, doing a fine job. Okay. And, of course, Tateno is the man taken under the wings at a very early age by Michiba and personally trained by him. Michiba, the first Iron Chef Japanese in the history of Kitchen Stadium. Fukuzan! Yes, go ahead, Ota. To start out, I just got some comments from Michiba-san on the Zagat Tokyo edition, and here they are. He says, okay. yeah, I know my restaurant isn't ranked as high on the survey as I think it should be. Did they really try my food? I mean, I don't want to complain, but I think all they need to do is try our dishes to be convinced. All right, and uh, you can see it right there in his expression. Also sounds like he was holding back a bit on his fire. And now let's meet our guests for today's battle. With us, we have actress Keiko Saito and actor Yoshizumi Ishihara. And of course, we've got our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Greetings to all. Nice to My pleasure. Yeah. First, Saito-san. Yes? Uh, familiar with the Zagat survey? Oh, yes. You know, I love checking out restaurant <laughs> guides. <laughs> And I check out places and go by myself. They always ask, did someone else recommend it? But I always go alone, usually. <laughs> well, your eyes were glued to the Tokyo edition. Yep, that's me. I can spend absolutely hours reading these. You know, like every single word in the critique column. <laughs> no, I really, I really love it. Yep. Okay, and today's ingredients, sea urchin roe or uni, understand both of you are uni fans. Yeah, love it. <laughs> like it that good. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Uni is okay in Japanese food, but it could be tricky in Chinese cuisine. Kusan. Yeah, you're right, actually. Yes. I asked Iron Chef Chen whether they use sea urchin in Sichuan cooking. He said, of course not, but you know there is a salt-cured duck egg, which kind of resembles the texture. I'm going to use some recipes using that to tackle this theme. Okay. That's what it'll do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Salt-cured so duck eggs. Real delicacy. <laughs> okay. I've had it before, actually. Okay, and now Challenger Tateno riding away. Wow. Just like the master. Using a brush to write the menu. Yes, mm. sir. Mm. It's very nice three trademarks are his written menu, the great broth and dynamic use of the pressure cooker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the first one of the three seeing it here in action. Oh, uni in tofu. Ah, uni tofu. <laughs> All right. Now over to the Iron Chef side. Uh, he's mixing hot bean paste mm. and salt here, I think. All right, hot bean Probably paste there. Probably uh, salt crust grill, maybe. Mm, yeah, most yeah. likely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let me give you the ingredients in this bowl uh, that the Iron Chef is preparing. The white stuff is apparently salt, and the red stuff is not hot bean paste. It's red chili paste. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. And huaja is also included in that. Oh, peppercorns. All right, but I'll still say it's for a salt crust grill. I have to go along with that. And yeah. now back on, on Tateno's side. side. Mm. Yeah. And this is salt salt here sprinkled on. Mm. Looks on? Like it, yes. Yeah. Yes, you're right. This is, in fact, salt sprinkled on this. And I asked him why he's using salt at this time. And he explained that just a bit of salt, not too much, added at this point makes the flavor very focused, so to speak. Huh. All right. Thanks, really? Ota. Oh, the Iron Chef is rolling up the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're really what, Hey, what did I miss here? Hey, and the uni is still in the shell. Yeah, look, 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 look. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's actually hid the shells completely. Huh. Huh? Yeah. CCC, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the roll's still inside then. Right. Okay. Ah, ah, the uni yellow stuff. That's the row of the sea urchin, right? Yeah, you're right. To this one. Take it. What you're seeing right now on the Iron Chef side is sea urchin shells with the spikes removed being uh, wrapped in large cabbage leaves. All right, finally I got it. So sure. maybe a, a decoration. Huh? Yes. Yeah, when I mentioned to Chen that his restaurant also suffers from a mediocre evaluation in the Zagat survey, <laughs> he said, oh, I'm not bothered by that, although I do think they should come over and let me show them what I can do. But hey, don't distract me. My enemy today is Michiba's hot. <laughs> All right, well, Michiba's the one bothered by the Zagat. Zagat ratings, and also on the scene today is current Iron Chef Japanese Morimoto. He's up in the royal box on Chen's side. Now, he can't complain about the Zagat rating. Nobu received 28 out of a possible wow. 30. Impressive. Mm -hmm. Gotta put Nobu on top in this category. <laughs> oh, that's great. Morimoto's got to be uh, very happy with the favorable evaluation in the Zagat's New York edition. And now. now, what do we have here? Tofu steak. Kusan. Okay, steak tofu. Oh. Go. Yeah, he has dehydrated this tofu as much as possible and is now frying it in soy sauce and sweet cooking sake. Hmm. So what's like this going to be then? Home cooking or something. Yeah, but this is not for the uni and tofu. That much I can yeah, pretty much yeah. guarantee. He's already All flavored right, it. Now yeah. back Chen's way. Not going to steam him. Uh, oh, what's he going to do now? Huh? For? 
Okay, these are they contain the moisture, yes. right? Ah, yes. Yeah, I approached the Iron Chef again uh, concerning his load of salt. Yes. What is it for standing by here? He grinned at me and he said, this is my secret weapon for today. I've never tried a sea urchin roe salt crust grill before, so I'm challenging myself. All right, thanks, Ota. Okay, I got it. Yes. So then in the cabbage that he had, he's going to put that over each one of them. Oh, uh, for grilling them, right? Okay. okay. Sounds fine this way. And the challenger's menu, one of them said a pizza? Is that oh, yeah. pizza? Well, pizza shape, <laughs> at yeah, least. Yeah, I don't know. A pizza pie, huh? <laughs> with uni sauce, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I know. With a strange sauce, right? Well, he wrote uni and tofu pizza. Ah, okay, using tofu to make pizza. Via pizza, not your regular uni and tofu, but done in pizza style. Well, just as we said. Oh, well, check out the Iron oh, Chef here. Oh, yes. Salt crust grill. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Individual packages, too. Yeah, exactly. No Big Mountain this time. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, I asked Chen Sun why he chose to wrap these in cabbage first before encrusting them in salt, and he told me that he thought salt alone would make it too salty, so he says the cabbage is like a filter or a cushion to keep it milder in flavor. How about mm. that? Okay, and now... Uh-oh, uh look, the uni sauce. There it goes, on and over. Go for it. But what's in Fukuzan? besides uni? Yes. That be something else. Yeah, the sauce the challenger has made is a, is a combination of Kyoto white miso sake and egg yolks. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah that's it. Dengaku. Dengaku flavor, yeah. Mm, but it looks uh, like a pizza. Pizza? <laughs> yeah, he's also added chopped onions to the top okay, of that. Okay, Japanese in flavor in a Western presentation. Is he going to add tomatoes, I wonder? Probably broccoli and tomatoes. Mm. And uni. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, even Iron Chef Morimoto appeared in for a better view of Chen working on the salt crust dish. That reddish tint here coming not from hot bean paste, but red, red chili, chili paste. Yeah. Mm. Yes, and the black kernels there are... Um, Huaja, or Japanese okay. peppercorns. Uh, but yeah. of course the casing of the crust will be crushed, right? Oh yeah, mm. but the peppercorns will also add some spiciness to it. Ah, oh yeah, but didn't he crack the shells? Uh, they're closed. Oh uh, my. to see. What a look, oh, so look luxurious. Look at that. Load of uni, oh. salivating already. Wow, oh look at that, a load of uni! Oh, luxurious. Mm. This is really Salivating unique. already. So unique here. I've just been handed a note, too, by the way, and the word is, yes, the Zagats love uni. Sea Urchin Row, they're big fans. Oh, really? Well, that's nice. Right. Great. Yeah, yeah, good to know. So they'll be happy about the volume of uni that'll be found in this dish here by the challenger. Fukuzan. Yes. Commenting on his right-hand man's creation of an uni pizza, Michiba-san says, very interesting. He's got the inspiration and the guts to try new things, and I'm sure the Zagats won't be opposed to eating pizza. No, hope not. Again, a Japanese flavor packaged in a Western presentation, and Michiba often Often does the reverse, taking foreign ingredients and turning them into Japanese dishes. And now Ota's over to interview Michiba-san. If you're ready, take it, big fella. Okay, thank you very much, Michiba-san. Yes. How is your man Tateno-san doing so far today? Uh, he's doing okay, I think. All right. Yes. But today we have special guests, yes. the Zagats, here for yeah. this battle. So what do you yeah, think yeah, is going yeah. through his mind, having to do this under such pressure, you know, with the Zagats watching? Well. He knows that he has to please mainly the Zagats, and to do so, perhaps it'd be tough for him if he just relied on pure Japanese cuisine. Uh -huh. So I think he's trying to mix some ideas, and really, he's doing very well. Okay, yeah. I see. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Fukusan, you. back to you. All right. All right, abalone. Yeah. These are from the waters up north. Right, right. And now, now what's this going to be? How can he use abalone? Well, he was making some white sauce before. Oh, okay. Well, that means... Gratin. Gratin. There you go. Sounds good. All right. That means he'll have two Italian-style dishes as well, we sorry. check in on the replay. Gratin's actually French. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's this red chili? Oh, yeah. That's Looks like Fukuzan. it. Fukuzan! Yes. Yes, in this mix uh, is uni, Chinese rice wine, and salt-cured red chili. Hmm. I asked him what it'll taste like, and he said, like I said before, it'll taste like the salt-cured duck egg in Chinese cuisine. I'm going to steam it a little more, so be patient. It'll be worth the wait and something to look forward to. No problem with that. <laughs> and the large red chili in there, those are not that hot, really. Oh, yeah, right. No, they're not. Well, Saito-san, uh, haven't seen any raw uni dishes yet. No, but he's preparing wasabi. Wh who, the challenger? I think some of the dishes could be raw. Look. Okay, well, over on Chen's side, I do see a little bit of a raw uni, a load, actually. Now, why is he putting it in this? Maybe that's for putting sake into it? What, what? wasabi no, soup? No, no, for? for a broth. I'm pretty sure it's a broth. What else okay. is in there? Mm, sake. That's what okay. it looks like, yeah. Mm. And he's going to add the uni to this? Uni sake? <laughs> uni sake? <laughs> That'll be too much. I All right, know. and plugging it up. <laughs> Maybe to shake it up a bit. <laughs> Chris, huh? Yes. The ingredients and this on the challenger side are wasabi and boiled sake. Now, he explained that this is a technique used to add just a hint of the aroma of wasabi because everyone knows that wasabi and uni match very well together. 
Ah, Tell you what, pretty intricate go. techniques to come go. up with just a hint of a subtle flavor. Yeah. And for Cuisana, yes. I spoke with the Zagats on how they think the two chefs are doing so far, and they said they're looking forward to the pizza-style tofu on the Challenger site, but especially to Mr. Chen's cabbage-wrapped item in particular. They both said the same thing. Both on the same page. All right, okay. and the Zagat survey, Tim and Nina Zagat, the couple behind the eminent series of restaurant surveys that bear their name, the U.S. equivalent to the Michelin Guide from France, and we are happy to Cuisine. have them here. Yes. I've just got the list of ingredients contained in the Iron Chef's wok, scallions, ginger, Chinese rice wine, chanton soup, and shark fin. All right, what's well, That what's sounds going like on? a soup, doesn't it? Could be a rice soup. Yeah, mm -hmm. it sounds nice, too. And also the other... Uh, Challenger's right, the the yeah. yeah. rice soup. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, using domestic rice. Yeah, so the broth, also pure Japanese. Hand in hand. That's in his master's style. Well, he's got individual pots for everyone, and that adds more of a, you know, Japanese touch to the presentation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. One each, kind of a kind I like of it. style. And yeah. over here, lobster. That could be the raw item. <laughs> could fry it. Not sure, though. <laughs> 30 minutes <laughs> All right, 30 minutes gone, he passing the halfway must point. Must be in hot water, right? That's right, that's right. Okay. The Sea Urchin Row, or Uni Battle, with some very important people from abroad. And now, Oates is upstairs again for some words with the Zagats. Take it, big fella, if you're ready. Anytime. All, all right, thank you. Uh, I'm here with Mr. and Mrs. Zagat in the Royal Box. First, let me ask you, Mr. Zagat, any comments after watching the uh, first half? Well, it's so exciting, and the, just smelling all of the cooking, I'm so hungry, I'm starving. And you, Mrs. Zagat? I think watching the chefs is very exciting. The set is spectacular, and we can't wait to get some tastes. All right, thank you both, and with that, I'll send it back to you, Kusan. Thanks, and needless to say, it's going to be interesting to see how the Zagats rate the dishes in the tasting. And now this on the challenger side into oh, abalone shells, yeah, I believe. The, the gratin. Okay, we gratin thought, yeah. and mm -hmm. abalone. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Wow, a bunch of uni on top. Wow. Oh, and he also mixed more uni into the sauce. Which already had uni. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's frying yes, it. He's, he's frying, frying okay, it. Deep fry for lobster. Uh, uni. Oh, what is boy, it? this looks great. Mm. Is the Iron Chef going to fry something too? Though? You are right. Looks like like the same there. Mm, I guess this timing is critical, you know, when you're frying things Absolutely. like this. Absolutely. Just right serving. What do you have? Yeah, Chen San giving tips for frying uni like this says, I've tried to add just a thin layer of batter and by lightly frying I'm trying to get a soft, gentle texture, but this is incredibly difficult. Oh, right. hard to control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you need luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's very, very delicate, right? And for Kusan, yeah. I also told Chen that the challenger is making pizza and gratin using abalone, and his response was, sounds delicious to me. He sure has the caliber of Michiba San's top apprentice. I know I can't be too relaxed today if I'm going to win. All right, well, you know, I can't remember ever seeing Chen lax any other time. Mm -hmm. Now uh, some avocados oh, on avocado. the other yep. side. Avocado. And a small shrimp nudged um, up against the abalone. Eggs as well. right. Chinese black eggs. A Chinese ingredient. Because he's going up against Chen San. <laughs> I guess so. Now, is this another white sauce for another gratin? What? What, this here? Mm. All right, we are back on the Iron Chef side and milk there, I think. Looks like evaporated okay, milk. Okay, evaporated yeah. milk, gotcha uh -huh. there. Ah. Uni and milk. Cuisine. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he just added sea urchin to this mix of scallions, ginger, king crab, and evaporated milk. Hmm. Wow. Okay. All right, and some corn, I think. Yeah, baby corn. You're right. Okay. And I don't think any more ingredients are going to be added to this. Maybe a little bit of salt and cornstarch, mm -hmm. perhaps. Well, with the sea urchin row in there, it's looking okay to me, as is. Yep, yep. Mm. Uh -huh. It'll give body to anything, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, Tateno's side, heady presentation with the lobster, and uh, once again, Ota with Michiba-san, take it. Thank you. All right, Michiba-san. Yes. Among the dishes Tateno-san is making, yeah. which is the one you'd say you hope will impress the Zagats the most? Mm, yeah, I'd say the tofu pizza. Uh-huh. For the uni on top, those right, kinds huh? of dishes with a mix of Japanese and Western ideas. It should be interesting. So you think you'll win with the way things are going? Well, more than winning or losing, he's doing his best. And I see. I, I want everyone to see the skill level of this young man we have here. I understand. Thank you. Fukuisan, back to you. All right. And sounds like Roksaburu Michiba is pleased with what he's seeing, the cooking by Tateno. And now we're getting a pretty good idea of the dishes on the horizon. And Saito-san, the dishes so far today, they are looking very good, I'd say, on both sides. Every single one of them. I'm with you. <laughs> and the challenger started now. He's uh, decorating the dishes, right? Ah, and so the uni is now being... Uh, cured with kombu? Yes. Yeah, this is sweet fish. A sweet fish, that's oh, right. Oh, right, okay. Now, after this, what's coming? The raw one for sashimi, right? And this is the one he'll be using with the wasabi in hot water? Right, right, right. wasabi, right, yeah. I just can't take my mind off that. <laughs> Usually you eat this with a vinegared sauce. That's right. All right, now the Iron Chef side working over the wok. What a way to use the roll.
Now after this, what's coming? Raw one for sashimi, right? And now is this the one he'll be using with the wasabi hot water? Right, right. Oh, wasabi, right. I just can't keep my mind off that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but usually you eat this with a vinegar sauce. Mm. Yeah. All right now, the Iron right. Chef's side, working over the wok. What a way to use the roll. Mm, yes, this looks really, really good. <laughs> Another oh, one yeah. line. Kuzan, yes. Just to summarize this dish by the Iron Chef, chicken, python soup, sea urchin roll, Chinese rice wine, egg whites, evaporated milk, and pepper went into the food processor. Later, he added scallions, ginger, more rice wines, shark fin, soy sauce, and some other seasonings to get it to this stage. What can oh. I say? This one is firing up the appetite already. Oh, yeah, and the sweet fish is now being rolled up with uni. This mm. is looking really good. Yeah, raw on raw on raw right here. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And uh, this should be the one getting the hot wasabi water. This one should be eaten with vinegar sauce, but then wasabi doesn't fit into the other. Time to get so. off the fence, Doc. Which yeah. one? <laughs> well, as Saito-san was saying, this could be the one using the wasabi hot water. Well, so. I'm just guessing. Mm, I don't check know. Out the, uh, I shark think you're right. Dish. <laughs> Finish the whole uh, dish no matter I what. Oh, look at that. No one can stop eating this. The shark fin dish. Now, the contrast between uni is going to be and so nice. And some grated uni ladled in and scallions and Chinese ham, am I right? Yeah, you're right. Chinese yes, ham. Chinese yeah, ham and Chinese. scallions. Yeah, All right. Mm. Wow. Whoa. And this is where you add that? Okay. Okay, I see. There I you see. go, an exercise uh -huh. in extravagance, and I'm sure this will open the Zagat's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, five minutes left, coming down the stretch. Today, our special guests in Kitchen Stadium, the publishers of the restaurant surveys that bear their name, Tim and Nina Zagat. But honorary Iron Chef Michiba has an axe to grind with the couple that their Tokyo ratings are off the mark. And that's why today he's in here with his number one, Yuji Tateno, to try and show the Zagats a thing or two right here, right now, about Japanese cuisine in Tokyo. See if they're able to pull it off. Kuzan? Yes. Yeah, let me remind you of the ingredients for this dish on the Iron Chef side. A mix of sea urchin, rice wine, and salt cured red chili was steamed. On top of that, he added a blend of minced red chili, rice wine, shanton soup, and sugar. He then further added a mixture of funchu and egg yolks and stirred it all together. The total combination of all these ingredients is what you see here. Wow. All right. Ah, mm. is it for grilling or frying? I'm really not too sure. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what, it just it went in the fridge. fridge. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's gonna be Put chilled. Put it on ice, that one. Well, that one, he said, is similar to Chinese duck eggs. Mm -hmm. Oh, the salt cured eggs. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's why he added egg yolk there. And both chefs now are onto the finishing touches for their dishes. Uh, and abalone here they're and grotting clams. in what abalone. contrast. Right, <laughs> that's for sure. Abalone tastes much better when combined. Mm -hmm. Three minutes to go. All he right. Finally poured it in. Yep. Finally, Hot there it is. Water. It it's yeah, sprinkling. Okay. I'm, I'm relieved now. I can relax. Kuzan? Yes. <laughs> yeah, speaking of the wasabi flavored hot water, Michiba-san remarked that that's probably going to be used with the uni and sweet fish. The two ingredients match well, and the wasabi is a perfect way to accentuate the sweet fish, mm. a simple but very special ingredient. All right. And uh, hey, here it comes. Oh, the wow. Roasted <laughs> with the salt crust finish. It's looking oh. good. And to be served just like that? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no way. You can get her touching these. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Glad I asked. And now we're going to check in on the challenge side here. This is pizza. Oh, that uh. looks pretty good, too. And more uni. Yes, more, more uni, uni on top. Jeez, oh, It never <laughs> seems to stop. Here, the crust cracked open. Kuzan? Take it. Yeah, he says the only reason for cracking one, one of the salt crusts is he says was, he was worried about the outcome. Okay. A look in and a check see as we're down to a minute. And Chen. Grabbing a little dab for a taste test. Let's see. Ooh, it's great. He likes it. Okay. <laughs> on. Quick. Chen no. sounds very pleased with his salt crust grill. He just shouted, all right, this is good. Good for all. He looks very happy. Said he couldn't be lax. We've seen Chen pour it on today. You'd never know. Uni's not used in Chinese cooking with the way he's performed so far in this battle. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. great. What Never, you, I dare you to find a pizza like that at There's Pizza Shack. No <laughs> With uni no in and out. Challenger Tatino bringing his A game against Chen today. The Iron Chef not helped with the choice of the theme ingredient. A great opportunity for Michiba and Tatino to have the young man's work pay off in a most meaningful way with a victory and praise from the Zagats. That's what they're seeking. They'll take either, but they'd like both. Getting down to the final to seconds, Iron Chef Chen targeted by the other side, basically in a scramble and survive mode Five today. Seconds. Tateno's had him on the Three, run, under the gun. Two, the final seconds one. tick down and that's it. The cooking's done, the uni battle is over. From the expression on your face, it looks like you're satisfied yeah, with the results. Yeah. Thank you very much. Do you think these dishes will yeah. change the Zagat's impression of Japanese cuisine? I mean, have you made mm. your point? Will they be convinced? The dishes are okay, I think. I think they're good enough to open their eyes to Japanese cuisine in general. All right, thank yeah. you. Yes. And Tateno-san, yes. that's quite an endorsement from your mentor. Yes. How do you feel? 
I did do my best in the time allotted to me, and I feel satisfied right. with the dishes. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. Today I assume you had to worry about two things, the battle with Tateno-san, of course, as well as how to impress the Zagats on the tasting panel. Well, you know, I just followed my instincts today. I really didn't think much about what you said, you know, just came up with ideas how uni could be cooked. Uh-huh. Just had a lot of fun. You know, the rest is up to them. It's the tasting panel's choice, whatever they decide. Yeah. Okay, but you're satisfied with the results, right? Well, so, I'd say so. Challenger Tateno is offering seven dishes. First, consomme hors d'oeuvre, a refreshing appetizer served on a lotus leaf. Consomme jelly pairs up quite nicely with the aroma of sea urchin roe. Second, sweet fish and sea urchin roe. A dash of salt accentuates the natural sweetness of uni in this dish, symbolizing the summer season. Sea urchin roe and tofu pizza. The Zagats are looking forward to this one, which reflects the philosophy of the master Michiba, a borderless approach to ingredients and use of seasonings. Sea urchin roe and avocado salad. The sweetness of uni and the sourness of avocados are skillfully fused by the yogurt-based sauce in this unique offering. Abalone and sea urchin roe gratin. The firm texture of abalone and the thick flavor of uni enjoyed together another creative recipe. Sixth, fried sea urchin roe and lobster. He encased sea urchin roe in lobster meat before frying a short time. And Tateno's Japanese flavored sweet and sour sauce, which accompanies, is first rate. To wrap up, sea urchin roe rice soup. The rice boiled in a dynamic broth, another of Michiba's trademarks. The sea urchin roe's flavors have soaked into the rice grains for a real masterpiece. Iron Chef Chen counters with a set of five. First, sea urchin roe marinated in Chinese rice wine, a splendid appetizer to start with. The Chinese rice wine is the solvent for the encounter of red chili and sea urchin roe. Second, steamed sea urchin roe and clams. The clams enveloped with the thick sea urchin roe flavor find harmony with the crispy texture of scallions. Sea urchin roe fritter soup. Fritters of sea urchin roe spice up the Shantong soup. It's a simple looking but truly unique Chinese style dish. Fourth, stir fried sea urchin roe. The use of milk has added a hint of smoothness to this slightly sweet dish, flavor of which is heightened by the use of Chinese herbs. Last is sea urchin roe salt crust grill, worthy of an iron chef drawing out all the natural flavors of sea urchin. The tasters eagerly await. Honorary Iron Chef Roksaburo Michiba is back in Kitchen Stadium, slightly steamed and on a mission, along with his right-hand man, today's challenger, Yuji Tateno. They're here to stand up for Japanese cuisine and stand up to the Zagats, Tim and Nina, for the low marks given Japanese restaurants in the Tokyo edition. They'll make their case in battle against Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient, prickly to work with, but key to Japanese cuisine, uni, sea urchin roe. And challenger Tatino takes that row, and away he goes, a prodigious seven dishes. Theme handicap, Iron Chef Chen flexes his muscles for a set of five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are actress Keiko Saito, actor Yoshizumi Ishihara, editors-in-chief of the Zagat survey, Nina Zagat and Tim Zagat. First, the dishes of Challenger Tateno. Yes, I matched lightly salted uni with sweet fish. I feel a refreshing breeze from this. I feel the subtle aroma of wasabi that you've added. Just like adding a bit of salt to sweet beans to make it sweeter, the little bit of salt added has drawn out the sort of sweetness that's usually masked. It's accentuated. Uni is one of our favorite ingredients, and this is delicious. And it's very nice to have the combination of the two textures. Well, when I was watching you make this, I was looking forward to this. But it's a bit watery still, probably because of the tomatoes you added. I mean, I wanted crispiness, grabbing it with your hands and, you know, going for it. Yeah. Mm. than an actual dish to eat. I don't think that it does justice to the flavor of the uni. 
It's a great idea, but not enough in execution. <laughs> yes, I made uni pizza, so I wanted to shift gears here. The tartness of the avocados and then the subtle sweetness of the sea urchin. It's a really good combination. To me, it's a very good avocado dish, but I don't taste the uni. So if the point is that it's an uni dish, it gets lost. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> you know, avocados and sea urchin really match quite well. Tateno will serve his rice soup as Michiba watches intently. Please use the relish to your liking. Yeah, we're back on track here. You just added a load of uni at the end. But because the rice soup has been perfected, you know, it makes me really content. The dynamic broth supports the sea urchin in this. It's a really sophisticated flavor. Yeah. Anything like it before. It's more of a soup to me, though, than a risotto. Um, but it's very good. He tried to make pizza using Japanese ingredients. I guess he was trying to cater to the foreign tasters. Well, I thought he was really trying to do a lot today. And now it's Iron Chef Chen's turn. This ingredient just isn't found in Sichuan province. At first I made a paste, a hot and spicy appetizer. Uh, you should be able to smell the rice wine. Don't know what it is, but I like it. Thanks. If you didn't tell me, I wouldn't have known what it was, but it's uni for sure. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, uni, uni. I liked the taste, and I thought, for me, it had enough sake. It made me feel very warm. Scallops and crab meat and lobster. This is very nice and mild because of the milk. It's really nice. And the Chinese herbs add a bit of bitterness, giving a buzz to my taste buds. This is very well thought out, I think. But if I was going to say it based on the uni, I might say five out of ten because I don't really taste the uni in the dish. All right, now comes his salt crust grill, final dish. A lot riding on this one. Only on this program can I do these experiments. <laughs> We're the guinea pigs. <laughs> Very mysterious, a very complex nuance to the flavor. Grilled or steamed sea urchin, it certainly is. It reflects the creativity of the Iron Chef trying to prepare dishes with a variety of different flavors. And in that sense, this is a great success, I think. Mm, yeah. Uh, is the most important thing you can do, when, especially when it's a wonderful ingredient like uni. And this dish does that better than anything else we've tasted. He should realize this is a unique experience for us to actually judge. Yes, the verdict and the Zagat's into it. Who wins the Iron Chef survey? Today, Kitchen Stadium meeting the Zagat survey in the Uni battle, with honorary Iron Chef Michiba putting up challenger Tateno to give the survey editors in chief a first hand look and taste of fine Japanese cuisine. On that count, they've delivered. Now they await the verdict, and they hope a higher rating in the next edition. The Iron Chef, a dour expression, a tough theme. Are his chances really looking this dark? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef, and he's as surprised as anyone. Chen wins it. Unbelievable. Uni not even used in Szechuan cuisine. Managing to knock off Michiba's main man in front of the Zagats. A bold display of Iron Chef abilities. Somehow getting the job done, nailing it with Uni. He's still in a little bit of disbelief. Now let's check the scores. Saito, 18-17 for the challenger. Ishihara, 19-17, the Iron Chef. Nina Zagat, 15-14, the Iron Chef. 
Tim Zagat, 15-14, Iron Chef, 3-1. Chen takes it, winning both Zagats. Darkest just before the dawn of the verdict, a reward for his handling of uni and his Chinese creations. The next Tokyo survey, look for an upgraded rating for the restaurant of this man, Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. I thought the show was terrific. You know, we've been on many food shows, and this was really so much more fun because there was a lot of suspense built in. The set is fabulous, and um, I think it was very exciting, and we were very happy to be here. Well, this has further motivated me to create a global version of Japanese cuisine to be appreciated even by the Zagats.